Hi, it's Kim. Thank you for stopping by and visiting my little channel today. I am in Ohio, so let's see what we're going to do today. Hi there. Today we're going to make a Hypertufa pot inside a Hypertufa pot arrangement. I've seen all those kinds, so I want to make one out of Hypertufa. I've got one of the pots I recently made and have leached it. I do that in a water bath, just several days leaching it like this, just letting the water fill up in the morning, dump it at night, fill it up in the morning, dump it at night until I get it leached. That way I have something really quick and I've gotten a little small hypertufa pot. That's an old one. I'm going to put that in. That hose looks like it's alive back there in the background, doesn't it? Now this is one of the pots I made recently and you remember in that old film of how the color transferred I am spraying that with a it was called black stainless steel it kind of made it a black silvery color wasn't real fond of it but I just wanted to cover it up and make it look pretty so it's uh, been done I found some uh, branches that I thought might look nice flat against the soil so now we're going to put it all together now I've mixed up my soil that I keep in a big trash can, mixed it up with some pumice rock, got my pot ready, drilled a hole, got my cover, throw in that soil, bury the pot, and here we go. Now I kind of took the branches that I had um, thought of and kind of evaluated how they might lie on that surface of the soil and how they might look. I am planning to kind of snip and pop the branches just to see how I'd like it. Now I started with it kind of in the middle and changed my mind and kind of adjusted it over slightly to the side. I wanted to give it sort of a, I don't know, like an overhang look, slightly tilted. I know those of you who are more talented than I am can really do a good bonsai with something like that, you know, to make it look like a bonsai. That, twisted branch in the storm but I don't know maybe that's something that I might try again later but I've taken my branch I cut a lot of my trunk off and then kind of fooled with it until I liked the way the branches looked and then mostly just kind of twisted pulled cut the branches off and added some other twigs until I felt like I just about had the silhouette of a tree. It's just kind of a hit or miss. Just whatever you think looks good, whatever suits you. I just, that's how I twisted the trunk. And again, I like that kind of an off-center look. I had a lot of branches left over. Just use regular pruning shears. I think, if I'm not mistaken, these were, these were the branches from a tulip tree that had fallen in a storm. And they were just back by our um, fire pit to be burned later on in the fall for a campfire and roasted marshmallows. But that's a long ways away, I hope, even though I'd like some cooler weather. Now, I have several pots of the type of sedum that I'm looking for. And um, what I did is just go by and snip ends and uh, I don't know, those cute little rosette ends of a lot of the uh, spuriums that I have. This sedum emigrantion I thought would make a really nice look on some of those tree branches. And I've got some of that red voodoo. Oh dragon's blood or voodoo I'm not really sure which one now this is the sedum angelina and I thought that might look good around the bottom it roots so easily roots grow out of it as it dangles over the side of the pot now those little rosette looking things are the immigrantian sedum spurium immigrantian I really love that plant it's one of my favorites but I thought that would almost like look like one of the I don't know, corn plants or uh, some kind of ponytail palm or something with the little rosettes growing at the end of a branch. But I just took these and I'm putting them into dry soil and just kind of kind of hold and not water for a long time to give them a chance to root. 
Now the dragon's blood is turning reddish now that we're having a little bit cooler into the nights, 50 degrees. They like to um, kind of get that reddish pinkish tone. I thought that would really brighten up my tree, even giving it some kind of autumn colors, a fall color. I thought that really looked nice, so that's what I've used. And I just basically just kind of pegged them in all around. Now these plants that I'm using, they're all winter hardy, zone five to six and even lower. So this is in fully intended to be outside all winter long in this snow and ice, won't hurt it. These plants will grow out there. So no problem at all. Now I did go around to try to find something with maybe just a little bit of different. I found some tricolor and then some Angelina that had already started to turn a little bit of a yellow gold on the end and I thought that would look cute. So I pinched and pulled a few of those little pieces off the tips and brought those around to stick in the pot. But overall, I think it really looks good. It looks colorful, it looks bright. I, at this point, have not added gravel. I do have some lava rock and then some of the gray-brown gravel that I may add. But I wanna give it a chance to root before I start rummaging around in it and adding some gravel. I do have some large flat stones that I might put down there with the grass. But at this point, this is what I have ended up with and I really like the way it looks. Now it may not stay the shape of a tree for very long, but it'll probably take these uh, plants until next spring when they really start branching out to really change and look a lot different. But I'm well pleased with my pot in a pot. So I have finally made one and it suits me. I like it. I put a few of those little petals to look like a falling leaf I don't know if that's the same sensation you get, or did I just drop one? But that's what that's supposed to be, a falling leaf petal. But I thought it turned out real nice. I'm well pleased with it. Those are all branches, even though from this angle, it looks like um, you'd think it might be the stem of one of those sedum, but it's not. It's all the little tree branches, as I showed you, all in hypertufa. So it really, really lended itself well to that pot. Now I think I might create another one, but I want the two pots to look the same, have this, the same texture, same color. So I may go to one of my older pots and try it again, but I'll update you and let you see what that looks. But thanks for joining me today. I really like how it turned out. Thanks for watching.